Hey guys, welcome to the Bravo Connection. Today we have a 2011 GL450 Mercedes. I'm going to show you how to replace the light bulb on this vehicle for the low beam. This is an H7 bulb. Let's see where it is. There it is. H7, that's the bulb you need to get. So we're going to be replacing this halogen, halogen uh, HID, actually halogen projector, which is this one here. Some Mercedes come with HIDs. Uh, this one came with uh, halogen bulbs. So it makes it much uh, cost effective, much easier to replace. Uh, it's actually almost the same. It's just the uh, HIDs. If it's like a bluish white or pure white, uh, those are more expensive. But anyway, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you how to take it out. So you wanna look for this cap right here. So we're gonna take this out. Set it aside. Okay. Now inside, let's take a look inside. That's what the bulb looks like. Okay, so you can see that it's a twist type. So we're gonna go ahead and twist it out. Uh, show you guys the best picture here. We twisted it like this, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, take it out. All right. So the H7 bulb. Sometimes they on these ones they get stuck, so you would have to wedge a screwdriver in between here. Um, this one is already kind of separated, so it should come out easy. There we go. All right. So notice right here, this um, the top of the bolt here. It has this little group here. So that's to line it up in this section here. These two pins. So you're gonna put it right on there, just like that. So let's get the new bolt. Okay. Push it in until it's flat. Okay, just like that. And we're just gonna stick it back in there. Just like this. See those little grooves on the side, those little fins? So you just gotta slide it in there on each side. We have one in each side, one here, and then one on this side as well. It's kinda hard to see it, but it's it's there. So you'll feel it when, when it slides in. See it right there, the little fin? Okay, so it slides in just like that. And that tells you the bolt is in correctly. You can go ahead and turn it on and uh, test it out. And then we are. Working like brand new again. Okay, next step. Uh, the last step here is just to put the cover back in. Just like that. Twist it in and it's locked in in place so the dust doesn't fly inside. If you gotta do the other side, it's pretty much the same thing. So, pretty easy, easy access. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I got some more work to do in this vehicle, so catch you next time. Take care.